Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And if I had a better picture of this, it might work. But somebody posted this on Facebook. If somebody's already tried to help them convert it to a black and white, I'm going to make it smaller so it will trace faster. I'm going to go to bitmap and resample. It's going to be way big because we made it smaller. I'm going to go to bitmap and I'm going to convert it to black and white. The only problem with that is we're going to lose some color. So let's try an RGB trace, then go to trace, outline trace, and let's try clip art. It's going to take just a second because if we don't do this, we're going to lose some color. We're going to say, okay, now move that out of the way. So we can go that route, but that's not going to engrave. You could, you could possibly uh, break it apart, but let's do what I really think needs to be done. Let's go to bitmaps, convert it to a black and white, which somebody's already suggested. The only problem with that, we're going to lose some, we're going to lose some of this uh, fingerprint or tone print. And then when we trace it, we're going to actually lose more. There's really no way else to do it without tracing it. So we're going to go to outline trace it. We're going to say high quality image and see what it, how it works out. And that looks pretty good. Let's go there. And we've lost a little bit on that footprint. And let's just delete that. Now we're going to have some white in there. So let's make our yellow box trick, go to object order, back a page and you can see the white, but the white will be very easily to get rid of. And let's go up to edit, find and replace, edit query, double click on the text part of the field, pick the eyedropper tool. It doesn't matter what this is set on. Grab the eyedropper tool and grab that white and then say, okay, okay, find all and then hit delete and you have no white background. Now really the only one that looks not as good as maybe this one and this one. And you know, I don't know if this is for a customer or themselves, but we could cheat a little bit and try, let's do this. Let's make this blue and let's make this one blue, and then we'll keep this black and we'll engrave, uh, make it a duplicate, and move it there. And then you could actually take one from the other toe. And I'm not suggesting you do this, but it is an option. It would make it look better, I think. So now let's try to grab the blue and you can see that we grab the blue and we can delete it. Click on the blue here. You can see we got blue and delete it. It would make those toenails or toe prints that did not engrave very, or did not trace very good uh, a little better. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.